If you ignore your health, it will go away. Hi there. So, in the last few videos, I've been addressing some misconceptions about chiropractic care. Hi, Dr. Sandu here from Bedford Chiropractic Clinic. Today, I want to address another misconception, and today is about chiropractic adjustment is for life. So, in the past few videos, which I hope you will look for, right, or hopefully you've already seen, we addressed some other misconceptions. Firstly, chiropractic is not based on science. Now, come on, okay? So, physiology, biochemistry, anatomy, there is science, it is science. And that is what I learned, and that is what I base everything I do on, okay? Now, the adjustments may not be based on science, but there is so much clinical research happening right this minute now showing that what we do as chiropractors is effective and it works and also putting down some real clear scientific reasons as to why we do what we do. So we are already addressing sort of any belief systems that might be out there, the fact that chiropractic is not based in science because the basic understanding of what we do and the reason we do it is based on science. Because I studied all of that, right, just like any GP consultant did. Yeah, I studied the physiology, the biochemistry, the anatomy, the physiology. And I went to cadaver, looked at cadavers, and looked at anatomy, and, right, and looked at muscles, just like anyone else, any of the other GPs and consultants did. Okay, so chiropractic is based on science. Chiropractic adjustments are dangerous. We looked at that, right? And I sh showed you and went through sort of uh, some facts and figures about if you go to a chiropractor who is registered with the General Chiropractic Council, you're in the, the safest possible hands because that chiropractor has gone through the training of a chiropractic uh, college, university, and they've been registered because they've shown that they're more than capable of looking after you as a primary healthcare practitioner because that's what we are. What that means is you can come off the street and you're in the safest, most capable hands because we are training, in my case, five years of chiropractic training at university to get my BSc, to get my master's in chiropractic, right, uh, gives, equips me to be able to uh, take you, sit you down and find out if chiropractic is the right treatment for you. And that's the first thing we do when you come for a consult, okay? So chiropractic adjustments are not dangerous. Okay, when you compare it to surgery, when you compare it to sort of uh, medication, medication in America, right, has been shown to potentially lead to 100,000 plus deaths. Surgery, uh, because of infection, because of, uh, after, because of trauma afterwards, because of uh, anesthesia for side effects. I mean, God knows how many sort of surgeries um, people die from, right? And with chiropractic adjustments, over a million chiropractic adjustments done every single day, every single day in America, and how many people die? Yeah? So, please understand, chiropractic is not dangerous in the right hands. Chiropractic are not real doctors. Well, hopefully I've addressed that. You know, I've done five years in college, at university, yeah, where I did all the pharmacology, I did all the, the, um, the biochemistry, the physiology, the anatomy, I did all of that, just like any GP would have done. Yeah, but then what I did was I specialized in anatomy, I specialized in muscles, joints, and the ability to be able to do what I do with my hands, the beautiful treatments that we give to our patients. Whereas they went off and studied drugs. So do I know about drugs? No, I don't. But I'm not worried about that because I can look up. When a patient comes to me, right, and is on some drugs, I can look it up, which I do, to see what adverse side effects that might, ha might be having, which might be causing their symptoms. So I'm proud of the fact that I don't prescribe drugs, right? I treat your body in a holistic way. I treat it in a way that helps it to help itself. And I will help you with nutrition. I've been studying nutrition for 25 years. Now, there aren't that many GPs that can say they know more about nutrition than I do. And I can promise you that. Okay, even those ones on YouTube. Okay, now, chiropractic care is expensive. We address that as well. Okay, now you go and see a, a, um, a con consultant and you're paying hundreds of pounds, thousands of pounds. If you have surgery, 
eight to eight to fifty thousand pounds for surgery. Yeah, you come and see me, and it'll be forty-nine pounds, and I will change your life. Thirty-nine pounds, and I'll change your life. Right, with the initial consult, just the initial consult, and I'll spend fifty minutes of really in-depth time with you, helping you to help yourself. And then, if you want a treatment, forty-nine pounds in twenty twenty-four here at Bedford Chiropractic Clinic, and. I can change your life. So chiropractic care is not expensive. So let's now address the misconception of chiropractic adjustments are for life. And this really, really rattles me, right? Because let's just think about it logically. Now, you've got something that you want to keep going forever, or for as long as you possibly can. Are you going to just keep using it and using it and using it and not get it looked at, not get it serviced? Answer that question for me. Now, hopefully, what you've just said is, of course, you're going to get it looked after because you need to. You need to. Take a car, for example. Now, they recommend that every 10,000 miles you get it serviced. Okay, now, some of you may have cars and need a lot more servicing than that. Yeah? So... Dentists. Now, dentists have got it right. They seem to have got you sort of brainwashed enough, trained you enough, I should say, right, that you will go and get yourself teeth checked on a regular basis. And you, so you should, because we use our teeth two or three times, four, five, six times a day. What is the one thing that you use 24 second every, every millisecond of the day? I'll wait for your answer. Okay. <laughs> right, you know, it's this. This thing right here, okay? You use that every millisecond of the day, even at night time. Why on earth wouldn't you want it to look after it? Okay, a simpler idea for you. You have a Ferrari, Lamborghini, okay? And you drive it 10,000 miles a day. How many times are you gonna get it serviced? Well, I would say to you that you're gonna get it serviced pretty regularly, if not every single day. So why on earth would you not consider getting your body serviced and checked on a regular basis? Does that not make sense to you? Yeah, because what are you doing every single day? Well, you're putting stress on your body when you're in bed, okay? Don't believe you're not, because you are. I don't care how good your mattress is. You are putting stress on your body while you're in bed. You get up, as soon as you get up, Right? What are you doing now? You're putting more stress on your body, on your muscles, your joints, and your nerves. And then, of course, you work during the day. You're putting physical stress, but is it not just physical stress on your body? You're putting emotional stress, because we have 64, 7,000 thoughts going through our head. 64,000 thoughts going through our head every single day. I don't know who worked that out, but somebody came up with that figure. Yeah, and every single day we're going through those thoughts. So all the every single thought bathes your body in chemicals, right? Chemicals that will either help your body to work well or not. And the majority of the time, 95% of the time, it's stressful chemicals that you're producing on your body. So that's emotional, physical, uh, uh, chemical stress. And now, of course, right? You've got the physical stress of moving your body every day. You've got the chemical stress every day. And then what do we do? We drink. We put stuff in our mouth. I say stuff, right, because let's face it, the majority of things we put in our uh, mouth are not food. Okay, now let's not get rude here. Okay? <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, things like sweets, chocolates, biscuits, you know, all that processed rubbish that 97% is in the market, is in the supermarket. Yeah, you go in the supermarket, there's only two places you should visit. Okay, the fruit and veg and the meat and fish store, three. The rest of that supermarket is absolute garbage. Right? In the sense, it's all processed, it's not, it's all man-made, and it is going to have an effect on your body. So you've got the physical stress of moving your body every day, you've got the chemical stress of the emotions going through your, um, into your body, and you've got the chemical stress of what you put inside you. All of that is creating an incredible amount of stress every single millisecond of the day on your body. So why on earth wouldn't you want to get it checked? Hopefully I'm beginning to make you think, because that's what I would like to happen, right? Is for you to just think, please don't 
disregard your body, you use it every day, you need it every day, right? As a wonderful uh, gentleman said, Jim Rowan, he said, if you don't look after your body, where are you going to live? If you don't look after your body, where are you going to live? Answer me that one. So if you want to live in a house, in a body, right, that is clean, healthy and happy and is able to m allow you to do everything you want to do every single day, then why on earth wouldn't you get it checked on a regular basis? I go and see my chiropractor every two weeks, have done for 25 years. Now I'm in my 60s. Hey, bring on the 70s, bring on the 80s. Yeah, because I'm going to be able to do everything I want to do. And why is that? Because I get my body serviced. I get it checked regularly. So is chiropractic adjustment for life? The answer is wholeheartedly yes. It's a big yes. Chiropractic is for life. And yes, you do need chiropractic adjustments for life. But this is important. Are you listening? It's a choice. It's a choice. I'm not here to force you into chiropractic adjustments for life. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to show you what chiropractic adjustments can do for you, how they can help you. And then, of course, the choice is yours of how many times you want to come. Yeah? But come and experience chiropractic and see what it can do for you. Because I know that in the right hands of a good chiropractor, right, a qualified, properly qualified chiropractor, your life can change for the better. I know it can. Because I do it every day. I've done for 25 years. Go and experience it. And if you're in the Bedfordshire community, come and see me. Let me change your life. Let me help you to service the most important thing that you own, which is your body. Let me help you to service it. Let me help you to look after it. And your choice, whether you want to do it for life or whether you want to do it occasionally or whether you want to do it on a regular basis, which is what I would recommend, which is what I do myself. But that's always your choice. So, okay, guys. So I've given you some misconceptions there. Hopefully that's got you thinking. Hopefully that's given you put chiropractic into a better light for you. I really, really hope it has, because I love what I do. I love the fact that I can change a patient's life if they let me. And it's a choice, as always. God bless you. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. We're all there, okay? And I just ask you to share, please share, right? Because it's important that you get this message over. Okay, it's nice to share the TikTok images of sort of good, good sort of heartfelt messages or somebody cooking something or somebody falling over backwards or whatever, right? But it's okay, but this is important message. Please share it. God bless you and I take care of yourself. And remember, if you ignore your health, it will go away. And there is no greater wealth than health. God bless.